Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will watch the use of a robotic jackhammer for conduit destruction. But first a quick disclaimer, this video is a demonstration only and is not intended to be used as a training video. It is provided for informational purposes only and does not purport to be comprehensive. You are encouraged to perform your own evaluation and assessment of the equipment demonstrated, including requirements for personal protection, such as personal protective equipment. Your use of this equipment might present hazards that were not present during the filming of this demonstration. So let's get right to it. We are at a training facility at Centerpoint Energy in Houston, Texas, and what you are seeing here is the charging of a robotic jackhammer that will be used to break up conduit in an underground vault. And this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. And here from street level as a view down into our underground conduit bay, you see that rectangular concrete bank in the middle actually protects uh, PVC piping and electrical wires going through there. That is what our robotic jackhammer will break away. Normally this job would take three or four guys down in the hole and several hours. We're going to see it all done today with a robotic jackhammer. So let's start with the on-site job safety briefing. Though this is in Centerpoint's training yard, they will detail what they're doing today, including training the operators on the use of the robotic jackhammer. And now it's time for the mandatory visual inspection of the jackhammer before lowering it into the bay. And with that completed, we can now lift and maneuver the robot around lowering it down into our conduit bay. Now, to the best of our knowledge, Centerpoint Energy is one of the first, if not only, electric utility in North America to use a destructive robot in this capacity. And once our robot is securely in the conduit bay, we can send a crew member down to detach the straps and chains used to lower it in. You will also connect the ground and you're going to see that now from his point of view. And one of the reasons we are showing you this is compare this to a traditional jackhammer job down underground where they would have to send three or four crew members down with at least a couple of jackhammers. In this case, this is the only time we have to send someone down now and when they prepare the robot to retrieve it back out of the bay. So that can represent a significant improvement in terms of productivity and especially worker safety. So now that everyone is out of the underground duct bank, it is time to turn on the generator for the robot. Though we don't specifically show it here, the generator is also grounded. Breaker on. And now at our operator's waist here, you see the control panel to manipulate the robot. You see the arm starting to come up now based on his maneuvering of the joysticks. Zoom in and watch that happen down in the conduit bay itself as he can move this jackhammer robot back and forth, forward, backward along its tracks. And the attachment on this uh, robot right now is called an elephant foot. And you can see that elephant's foot more clearly here as he positions and maneuvers the jackhammer itself to go down into this concrete bank to start chipping it away and it is time for action. So what you just heard there is the sound level of the jackhammer at the operator position for this particular demonstration. I have turned it down on this video so we can hear the narration. But for this demonstration, noise levels measured at the operator position did not exceed OSHA action levels. However, companies would need to conduct their own monitoring to determine appropriate protection requirements for each specific job. And you can also see the dust coming up as the jackhammer breaks up the concrete. Sampling conducted by the company in this video showed that no respiratory protection was needed. But as with noise sampling, companies would need to conduct their own air sampling to determine appropriate protection requirements. 
And you can also see here one of our conduits starting to be exposed. See that it's dented. You may wonder, as I did, why they're not taking care not to dent it. This conduit actually will be taken out. This is part of an underground cutover. So the wires inside that conduit will be wrapped around the walls of this conduit bay when the job is completed. And as we continue to watch our robot hard at work here, you can see that elephant's foot can also be used to push objects, chunks of concrete out of the way. Take another look at our operator and that control box with the joysticks. You see he's pressing down with his left hand. That's going to actually start the jackhammer, maneuvering it with his right hand. And we'll go down again and see that chipping away at the concrete. See that conduit now clearly exposed as we start to move some of the larger chunks of concrete out of the way. And you can see here that he can even fit the elephant's foot in between parallel runs of conduit. And in some cases, as you'll see right here, part of the conduit may break away. That's not a big issue in this case. This is a training exercise. There are no wires inside this conduit. In a live job, though, what would happen is they would actually break away as much of the concrete and, in fact, conduit as they need to pull the wires out, add some splices, and run them around the side walls here of this conduit bay. That is what an underground cutover involves, and we will see that in a TND How video we expect to shoot later in the year. And so fast forwarding just a bit, this is a view of that conduit bay now that most of the concrete has been chipped out. This took about three hours with the robotic jackhammer. And by way of comparison, a conventional method would have required hearing and respiratory protection or a wet method and would have taken a crew of three or four, about six to ten hours in the conduit bank to do the same work. So as we put our robotic jackhammer away and transport it to the next job, you have now seen our TND How video on how to use a robotic jackhammer to break away concrete in the underground cutover process. Our participating utility was Centerpoint Energy. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.